Hi, it's me, Jazz Kaya. Thanks for coming back. We're on episode three, season three. Okay, so this is my real life according to me, Jess Kaya. <laughs> And it's a nonfiction presentation of my life. Okay, so we're going to continue on. Okay, so we're back in L.A. I told you about the girl at the high-rise apartment. Okay, so at this time, primos have been... Yeah, we're going to just jump right in. <laughs> primos have been introduced in, into our life. And uh, like I said, uh, back in Vegas, Kenny started smoking cigarettes. Ugh, okay, no. Um, I don't even indulge even when I'm drinking now, you know, or then, you know, now I'm being then. So anyway, so Primo's got introduced into our life. And then um, a couple of his friends <coughs> um, that he grew up with. Nice guy. One of them kind of reminds me like a Snoop type figure. He kind of tall, slender, and just kind of him. And then um, he was one of the people we were smoking primos with. And but it really, you know, me, you, you, uh, you, 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 you smoke a primo or whatever, and then you just want to smoke another one. It didn't do much for me. I, I kind of like, um, you know, just having my drink. Okay, so we're going through that, and we're living in the apartment, and then um, Kenny doesn't say it, but I can tell he thinks that his friends, his male friends, hit on me, and they don't. They they didn't, and um, he wouldn't necessarily say it, but I can kind of tell that that is uh his demeanor his disposition or whatever okay so they never did and i never did with them either okay so as time goes on we're in the high-rise apartment and remember when we had that big earthquake I want to say it had all oh, this was like 92. It had to be right at the beginning or the end of 91. Um, we had that earthquake and there was a lot of damage in our apartment, like a lot. Uh, we were up on the fourth floor and the apartment was a newer one. So we were on a roller, but everything was just kind of damaged. So FEMA came into effect. I don't know how I found out about it, but then um, I applied for FEMA, got approved. It took a little little while but in the process of this yes we're losing our apartment for not paying rent again <laughs> so anyway but this money is coming through um you know not really I, I don't know not really like an eviction but okay you ain't paying rent you gotta go I, I never or we didn't try to stay somewhere we knew we owed rent we wasn't gonna be able to pay okay it's time to go <laughs> so as where uh, so I already got approved for the FEMA. I think it was like four thousand dollars or something, but I hadn't got the money yet. So um, he's like, "Let's go stay with my mama." Where? <laughs> oh no, I'm good. Mm -mm. No, no, I'm good. And then by this time, I was trying to get a job as a CNA at um, Lone Beach Community Hospital. So remember in Vegas, I did the end. They kind of talked myself into that job, but I was only there a couple of weeks, you know, bam, bam, one, two. But uh, okay. <laughs> And now they're calling the CNA and they're describing it. So I'm trying to get this job over here and go live who with where and to what. Oh, no, mm -mm, that ain't going to happen. So at this point, I decided to go live in a hotel, like a, 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 a motel, <laughs> actually a motel. And um, he wasn't having it. So he went and stayed with his, his parents. I'm not going. Sorry. Can't. Won't. Mm -mm. Might be a homicide. You, you set me up. <laughs> 
So anyway, so he goes there and I go to the hotel, fine with me, you know, and um, I always try to make sure I have a little money put up, nothing, you know, but it was enough, got my hotel room and um, he over there and I'm trying to, and I know I'm claiming this job, I'm about to get this CNA job. So as I'm in the hotel, so at this point, Kenny is actually going through the process to get hired on an RTA. So he, it, it was kind of a vigorous thing, but um, it was very promising that he was going to get this job with the RTA. Okay, so he there, I hear. <laughs> So as um, time's going, time is going on, I'm in the hotel room and, you know, I'm, I'm like my little drink and I'm in there by myself just chilling. It's all good. But I hear the girls next door and they're kind of coming in and out and I'm kind of looking out the window and I'm like, what they doing? It's about four or five black girls, maybe one white girl. But, you know, yeah, I can figure out that they're, they're prostitutes, I'm sure. And and I can hear them talk. Uh, you know, the walls are thin. So I, I can hear something like they would get a call and go meet. They weren't walking on the street, but they would get a call and it seemed like they would go meet the guy or whatever. However, that's, that's what I took out of. So, <laughs> as okay, so that was the first evening that I kind of heard that and recognized uh, uh, whatever. And then, so let's just say the second evening, I hear it going on again, and um, now I got my curse juice, curse juice level. <laughs> Then why is the lighting like that? I'm sorry. I, it's going to get better. I'm going to figure it is okay. Anywho, <laughs> courage juice level is going up. So I see it. I'm like, shit, what they doing? What? <laughs> so I go next door. Hi. <laughs> My name is Kaya. How are you? Good. I was like, well, I'm over here and... um. You know, I need, I'm figuring out, I need to make some money. Like, like, is there, you know, <laughs> oh yes, you need to talk to, I don't know what his name was. Let's say it was Hank. I don't know what it, I, I don't remember his name, but yeah, you got to talk to Hank and um, he'll let you know what you need to do. Okay. And I never even asked them what they do. I knew they were prostitute. I was assuming it was sex, you know, or whatever. Shit, maybe so, maybe not. I don't know. Let me just try to get a little hustle on. <laughs> Let's check out some possibilities. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um, so um, later on that same evening after i spoke with her a little bit and i'm back in the room and i'm still just drinking kind of looking out the window checking them out and then i don't know how long later it, it was hours later but it was the same evening she comes knock on my door and she said hank he's gonna he's downstairs waiting for you he's gonna talk to you i'm like oh really okay <laughs> So I go downstairs and I get in the car with Hank and um, he's a really, really dark, dark skinned brother. And he's wearing like all dark clothes, kind of black and brown black. And then it was tinted windows, of course. And it was kind of like, a, oh, I want to say it was a Cadillac or Brobeau. I don't know, you know, but something just relaxed. And when you got in there, you swear you was in like a nightclub. <laughs> It was all dark. The music, it smelled good. It smelled like incense, I guess, or whatever. And the vibe was cooked. I was like, this grown folks world. <laughs> so I got in and, hi! <laughs> Courage juice level was nice. And, <laughs> hi, my name is Kaya. Thanks for meeting me. <laughs> Promise. <laughs> So then I'm like, I'm peeping out his vibe. He's just like, okay, wait, I need to bring it down a little bit. 
So um, he's like, oh, okay, yeah. Uh, let's say her name is Tiffany. Tiffany was telling me you was you was you you've been checking them out and you was thinking about you know whatever. I'm like, yeah. I was like, I really wanna you know I really need to make some money. I'm trying to get things you know started in my life. And he's like, well, tell me more about that. And I said, oh, what I'm trying to do? I said, well, um, what I'm doing, I said, I'm staying in this hotel right now um, because I'm trying to get this job. I'm about to get this job as a CNA. And then uh, once I get a job, you know, I want to work. And, you know, eventually I don't, you know, go to college and do something, but I'm just trying to figure it out right now. And, um, but just for now, I just wanted, you know, trying to just make some money and I seen the girls over there and, um, yeah, I said, basically that's where I'm at right now. He's like, okay, cool, cool. He's like, um, baby girl. He said, you know, those girls you, 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 you was talking to. I said, yeah. He said, they'll do anything for me. They'll do anything I tell them to do. No hesitation. They're going to do it. And he said that um, they're about this life. Baby girl, this ain't for you. And I was like, wait, we only been talking th three minutes? <laughs> and he's like, baby girl, this ain't for you. He said, you going to get that job. He said, you go get that job. And um, he said, you stay focused there. He said, because the women I deal with, they'll go down for me. They, they, their life is me. You know, he kind of, I was like, oh, and he kind of kept going down. I was like, oh, you know, I was like, okay, I think I'm getting it. I think they might die for him. Well, okay you know he just and he said this ain't for you and then he took me got me something to eat um took me back to the hotel room and he said now you go get that job and I never saw him again I was in that hotel room maybe not not even quite a week and and it was it was just that quick too. The girls were there, and I want to say maybe the next night, maybe two nights later, I didn't see the girls anymore. I never saw him anymore. And then maybe about three nights later, this is what happened. This is all in the same week because I wasn't there quite a week. So um, that happened. Amen. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> So Kenny comes over, let's say it was Friday, I don't know. Um, I already got my check from FEMA. I put it in the bank. It was like a little over $4,000. Put it in the bank. And so at this time, um, waiting for the apartment in Long Beach, kind of looking for an apartment now because the money came through. It went to his parents' house. And he got his mom or whoever gave it to him and he deposited it in the bank. So that was um, all in the same week. And so he picked me up that Friday. He said, let's go, you know, hang out or whatever. I was like, oh, okay. And then at this point, um, you know, we know we're getting ready to move. So I said, okay. So he came, pick me up and we end up going at this time, the hotel is in Long Beach. So we end up going to Inglewood, the casino. So we in there and he's like, well, do you mind if I like get out $300 or I have $300 or something like that? And we're going to go gamble and whatever. I'm like, okay, just, we, I hadn't, we ain't been hanging out. Like in, a, I haven't seen him in a few days. Okay, so we there, and it's kind of, he not really himself, but it's cool, it's just okay. So we're there, however long, few hours or so. It's not going for us, I'm really not feeling it, and he's not really himself, so we lose. So we're walking back to the car after this, and then... Before we leave the parking lot, he goes, we need to talk. We? I don't know. 
have nothing to say. What? Huh? You got something to say? He said, um, I got something to tell you. I said, oh, he got something to tell. I have no clue. Okay. He said, um, that was all our money. One more again. That was all our money. I said, what do you mean that was all our money? He said, that was the last $300 in our account. I was like, wait, hold up, huh? And I said, no, I just, we just got that check from FEMA and then we're going to go get the apartment in Long Beach and we don't have no money. I go, we ain't got no what? I was like, wait, hold up. I said, what happened? Um, so my mother gave me the check and, um, yeah, I told you I put it in the bank, which I did, but, um, I took some out and then I took some more out and then I was trying to win it back. And then that was our last $300. You are a worthless soul and blah, 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 and whoop the whoop and what the blah, and <laughs> what? You ain't, <laughs> I said, take me to your mother's house right now. They live right, literally, you can walk right. We get there and it's, I don't know. One o'clock in the morning or so. So they open the door. He has a key, actually. We go in. I said, Dina, I said, do you know he went and spent all our money? He gambled all our money away where we supposed to blah, blah, blah. Oh. And I said, so what the hell? And I said, you gave him the check. And I said, okay. But I was like, wait. I said, this is what your son did. Well, you know, sometimes we make mistakes. Y'all deserve each other. Mm -mm. Something wrong. It's like, hell no. And so I'm cussing him out and I'm hot and, and, and I, I'm just going and he not really saying nothing, but I'm pissed. I'm coming back to this motherfucker house. So she goes, can you calm down? My neighbors hear you. I said, I don't give a fuck. Ooh, you need to tell him to calm down. You need to try to teach him. And, blah, blah. and I'm like, what? So finally, I'm like, all right, I calm down after however so long. And uh, I ain't coming back here. I ain't coming back here. I'll be damned. So this is Friday, so I, I need to go. So me and my mom, we're not talking. We kind of talking. I ain't coming back to this, this, this. Mm-mm. So, okay, we're at 17 minutes. So, the next day, I'm back at the hotel room. Whatever, nigga, bye. You got to go. He back at his mama. Uh, and I called my mama. I said, you know, I, I just really, I need to come there. Um, you know, I'm getting this job. And, and literally, I, I, I know I got the job. I think I'm starting that Monday or something. And I said, I just need to stay there a little bit. I said, I'll just stay in the corner. I said, I just need somewhere to sleep. Literally, because all our stuff is in storage. Um, and I just have like clothes and then scrubs. And I said, please, just until I start working, get my first check. I said, I don't need no food, no nothing. I just need somewhere to sleep. Made that very clear. Okay. And at this time, uh, my mom and Elle, they're married, of course, and they're um, in the house that I believe they're, they, yeah, they were buying this house. So I'm back in like the family room areas way in the back of the heart, back of the house. And this is in Gardena. So I have to get from Gardena to Long Beach to get to uh, uh, work is my plan. But OK, we're going to make this work, whatever. So um, I go on to kind of tell my mother what happened about the I got the FEMA money. He's spend it, gamble it all away and whatever. 
So she's like, wait, I was here for the earthquake and blah, 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 blah. She said, how did you get FEMA money? So I told her and told her about this. And I said, actually, I think the program is still going on. It was going on for a while. So she applied for the FEMA. She hadn't heard anything about it. So she applied for it and I told her what to do, whatever. And my bad, I told her how much I got. It's like over $4,000. <laughs> So she applied and they came out and uh, whatever it was, whatever the process was, okay, whatever. At my house, no, they did come out and look too, they did. So she ended up getting, I think, maybe not even, nine, maybe let's say $900 or something. She And she was pissed at me. <laughs> She was really pissed at me that she only got $9,000 and why didn't she get more? And I'm like, you know, I don't work for FEMA. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm going to start being the CNA. I, I, I have mad at me. Okay, so then she kind of going off on me and and it, 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 it kind of escalated to where... Well, I think you should give, um, um, I know you ain't got no money, but you know, your stuff that you bought that that's in storage. I think that you should give me a couple of, I, she always liked my furniture. I said, what? I said, why should I get, well, you're staying here for free. I said, I've been here maybe at this time, four days. I don't know. Maybe a week. Cause she had to get time to find out she was only getting $900. And I was like, I don't eat your food. Kenny brings me food. He takes me back and forth to work. Literally, I come here to go to sleep. And, huh? <clears throat> well, that's how I feel. Me and, me and Larry was talking about it. And we think you should um, give us like maybe one room um, of your furniture out of storage. I say you. You're crazy. I said something wrong with y'all. Now I'm going off. And me and her, I mean, we're like. And I said, I will kick your blah, 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 blah. And she's like, you know, I'll, I'll whoop your ass. And, and whoop the whoop whoop. And she going at me. And I said, you know what I, and I, whoop, boom. And I'm just like, and we right here. So finally, finally, L comes between us before either one of us hit each other. And I mean, we right there. So he finally, I don't know how long, how long later wasn't counting time, but it could, he could have stepped in a little bit quicker to be honest. Okay. But anywho, so he stepped in, I called Ken. I said, you come get me right now. I said, this bitch is crazy. I said, she won't blah, 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 blah. And I told him, so, um, yeah, he came quickly and, um, I got my little clothes. That's all I had. There ain't never ate not one more so of food there. Nothing. Come in, turn off the light, go to sleep. Okay, so anyway, I said, um, you need to figure this out. I said, I ain't going to your mother's, your parents. You need to go um, something. Yeah, he showed up with his mother credit card because I'm like, I'll be damned. So anyway, okay, so then after that, go away. And then I wanted to, oh, I told you about the pair of, okay, money. From FEMA, okay, I told you that. Uh, okay, so we're at 23, okay, he spent all the money, told you to go to his parents. Okay, I timed that perfectly. So we're at 23 minutes. Okay, so at this time, let's say um, it's, he got me a hotel room once again, right by uh, Long Beach community. So you, you kind of go through a process. So now I have my last interview to get the CNA job, <clears throat> which now they call it a CNA certified nursing assistant, <clears throat> excuse me, certified nursing assistant. Okay. 23. Okay. Let's go on my interview with me. This is the final, final decision. You have to meet with like the director of like CNA. I think she's probably director of nursing, but CNA falls up under that. So, you know, you take the little test and blah, 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 pass all of that. And you, you go before a couple of people. So now I'm before the main person and she makes the decision if I'll get the job or not. 
I ain't never worked as a CNA. So the NA, all you do is kind of cleaning up poop. And you with old people, you like in a, a retirement home. They used to call them convalescent homes. They don't call them convalescent homes anymore. But now I'm in a, a acute hospital. That word here is key. So <laughs> I go into my interview very confident. Uh, we just going to talk. So it's a, a white lady and uh, very like the short blonde hair, look like a nurse, glad, you know, it probably look older than what she is in any way. So I go in, hi, hi, so you're uh, Kia Dave, oh, Kia, at that time I was Smith, Kia Smith, yes, I'm Kia Smith, um, I see that you're applying for the CNA position on our swing shift, uh, three to 11. Is that correct? Yes. Yes, I am. Oh, okay. So I see here you have experience as a CNA in Las Vegas. Is that correct? Yes. Yes, that's correct. So, um, so you're, you're comfortable, uh, working with, um, our community of, of patients and you know, uh, with this job and the task that this entails, correct? Yes. Yes, I do. So, uh, you know how to do vital signs. I ain't never heard the word vital signs before in my life. So you know how to do vital signs and you know how to chart and document these things. Yes, I do. I sure do. Yes. So if I give you this position, um, you can demonstrate all of these things as a requirement to your position. Yes, I can. Yes. <laughs> My mind still what the hell is a vital sign? <laughs> so, okay. So as I look over this, I see the facility in um, Las Vegas. That was a, a cute facility, correct? Yes, it was. It was a cute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, it was. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, I guess we don't ha we won't have any problems. Can you um tell me uh what kind of um materials? No, what type of instruments did you guys use over at ABC in Las Vegas? Oh, you know, I don't think we were very much up to date. And um, I'm sure the stuff that they had there, I don't think you guys have the same thing here um, in this facility. But I'm sure like once I get get the job and start working, um, you guys are, are train me on the instruments that you guys use, correct? Because I don't think it's the same ones. <laughs> Okay, yes, you're correct. We will tra train you on our instrument. Okay, so everything seems good. How soon can you start? I'm thinking now. <laughs> oh, I'm available. Yes, whenever you're ready, I'm available to start. Okay. <laughs> it's 28 minutes. <laughs> I promise. Okay, so we go through the rest of the formality formalities of that or whatever it's still in my head okay now acute what the hell is an acute facility vital signs what are vital signs <laughs> na we didn't do we just learned how to walk the patient clean their poop <clears throat> change their they go back to the baby stage that's it and we would pass out trays that's the na that's it <laughs> okay <laughs> Let's go. Bitch got a job though. <laughs> Making $9 an hour. When I was in Vegas, I don't even think, it, it, I think it was minimum wage, five something or something. I'm not even sure. But she said $9 an hour and medical insurance. What? <laughs> We're moving on up. 
She's in charge. She finally got a piece of the pie. <laughs> okay, 29 minutes. Until episode four. Woo, woo, mm, 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 woo, woo, woo. Get my hustle on. Shoot. Got me a job. <laughs>